So welcome to PySpark video tutorials. So in this ongoing continuous real-time scenario based interview questions or you can say real-time scenario videos. So today I'm going to discuss about how to remove duplicate records or how to identify duplicate records. So when it comes to any data migration project, any data migration project, uh, we'll get a common data scenario where you need to identify duplicates, where you need to remove duplicates, and uh, how to remove duplicates. So when it comes to PySpark, so how to remove duplicates from data frame. So here you'll have a plenty of options to remove duplicates. So one is distinct is available, another one is drop duplicates is available and uh, it's alias drop underscore duplicates even you can use a window function you can use group by okay so window function with row number there are multiple ways which you can remove duplicates but today I'm going to uh, cover you another scenario wherever, whenever you are working uh, in a particular source system, you will be getting a data like this name, like a consider, uh, I'm talking about a customer data, like a customer ID, customer name, location, and then updated date. Instead, you got these three columns. So when you are going for this kind of data, when you are going for this kind of data, like a customer name, Ravi, location, Bangalore, and uh, uh, some information like an uh, updated date consider 2021 and you got the same information with a different modified date or can say different updated date okay So, which you got a different date. Let's consider June or June 10. So, in this data, if you observe carefully, these three are duplicates. So, which you need to identify latest record and which you need to insert data into target table. Which you need to insert data into target table. Let's consider I have a multiple records like this. Just I'm going for a few more records. Okay, so in this data, first we need to identify the duplicates or even directly you can remove duplicates. Let's take this and we will apply distinct or drop duplicates. Distinct or drop duplicates. Let's take this data and create a file and create a data frame. So I'm going to create one data file, dbetals.fs. I'm going to create one file in scenarios duplicates.csv okay so in this data file so whenever you create a data frame on this data file let's create a data frame let's create data frame using spark read api we can create a spark.read.csv and uh, even we can create a header true and the info schema true which it will create a data types which you can print a schema which it will print you the metadata like a column name with the metadata like a data types so these three columns or you can say four columns of it is having some duplicate records so id integer string and string and timestamp here it is by default whenever you, you go with the info schema it will 
create a default timestamp data type or you can go with the changing data type like you can use a two date function and then you can uh, change the data type as to uh, date format instead of timestamp format that's okay but our requirement is removing duplicates let's display the data first okay this is the data so in this latest record should consider and old records should remove whenever uh, you are loading data into target. This is the primary concept of any data migration or you can say any data engineering. If I apply drop duplicates, let's keep this screen the same and uh, I will go with the uh, drop duplicates. So when you go with the drop duplicates are distinct. You see uh, ID, three records are there still it's not remote duplicates because drop duplicates if you go with because here you can find the updated date that date is different and but same customer id same customer name but different location but you got a different updated date in this scenario directly if you are going with a distinct directly if you are going with a distinct or drop duplicates it won't work here you can see the duplicates still you can find the duplicates then how we can eliminate so first what you need to do, you need to identify the which column basis you are going to remove the duplicates and drop duplicates. On which column basis? So I'm going to remove duplicates on ID column basis. ID column basis. Now it's removed the duplicates. Now ID basis, there is no duplicates. You see this? ID basis. IDs are unique and you can't find duplicates. Maybe you can consider two, two RAS are there, but a customer ID is a different customer ID. Customer ID is a combination which we will verify unique combination. But if you observe data, you see this is old data 2021 January 1st. But we need to keep latest data. We need to remove old data in this three records. You should consider the latest data. You should consider latest data. So by default, whenever you go with the drop duplicates, it will remove like a next records, it will keep the first record. Okay, then how to remove duplicates, keep the latest one, keep the latest one. So what we can do, we can apply sorting the data based on updated date. So which we can use order by class. So order by is one of the class which we can apply on updated date, updated date and updated date by default whenever you apply order by just import this column from functions import call function. So I'm going to use order by class and sorting data based on updated date. But whenever you go with the default order by default order by us, ascending order so ascending order means which is a minimum to maximum so still you, there is no change in the data removal so what you can do you can you can apply descending order you can apply descending order on top of this so descending order mean when you are going for this data when you are going for this data we should keep latest one we should remove previous records. Consider this is the latest record. So consider this customer was in Bangalore, then he moved to Chennai, then he moved to Hyderabad. So Hyderabad is the current location consider. So latest one we need to keep. Previous records we need to remove. Previous records we need to remove. But when you are going with this, we are going with this. By default, as per the, whenever you remove duplicates using a drop duplicates, drop duplicate it is not removing so it is removing latest record it is removing latest record and uh, old record it is giving you but this is not we are expecting so the location he is not in a current Bangalore location consider he is in a Hyderabad location so that's why we are looking for sorting sorting is nothing but order by so order by is one of the class which you can use which you can use by default order by will give you an ascending order 
But if you go with a descending order, if you go with descending order, then it will sort the data in a proper order. It will sort the data in proper order, in a descending order. Now it will give you proper data. Now you see in this three records, in this three records, here. Yeah. This is the latest record, but anyway, duplicates. So identify the latest record, remove previous two records. Obviously, we, we are looking for this is the latest one. So you can find the latest one. For every record, you can find that latest record it is keeping and it is removing duplicates. But always order by is, is a sorting. Sorting means if you have a huge data, you can expect some performance uh, issues, but you don't have other option to remove duplicates in a proper order if you have a data uh, with a updated data and old data in the same data file. Same data file, if you have updated data and old data, you cannot uh, avoid order by class. And there is another way, another option which you can remove duplicates. So that is window function. So you can use a window function with row number. Window function with row number. So even we can remove duplicates in another way, the same data frame, same data frame, which we can create another column, which we can create another column using a with column. And that I can create a row ID. And I can use a row number. Row number is a function. So that function we can use a over class over. Then window is a function partition by is a partition by class. Then your column order by. Then your order by column. Then in order by we need to provide that ascending or descending order. So we'll use a descending order. We'll use a descending order. Always remember partition by which column basis you want to generate a unique record. So ID column, which column basis you need to identify the latest record, which is updated date. So that is sorting, sorting column, updated date. And ID, ID basis we are going to identify the partitioning. So that is ID column, then order by which is a sorting column. So this way which we can generate a new sequence id we can generate a new sequence id but this is a window function which we need to sub import separately otherwise you will get an exception saying that not not able to identify this row number and uh, window function so first what we will do we'll import from from pyspark dot sql dot window import window function and from pyspark dot sql dot functions if you want to import all functions, you can import all functions as a star. OK, now what will happen? Uh, it will create a new column. That new column is row ID. Just uh, you can go with the displaying this data. And you see this. This is the data and it is generated unique ID, unique ID. And which is updated data will have a one. So what you can do, you can apply filter condition which you can apply filter condition where this row ID, row ID equal to one. So equal to one, you will get a only unique data. This is unique data. So which you can create, which you can create data frame, which is unique data. Okay. And which you can create a duplicate data. Consider your, your client is asking, where is my duplicated data? You're writing a good data, but where is my bad data? Bad data, you can say, which records you deleted, which records you deleted. So what you can do, you can create another data frame, bad data. So where greater than or equal to one. So this data frame will be having a bad data. This data frame will be having a bad data. See this? These are our bad data. So, and this data frame, which is unique, we can consider as a good data. This is the good data. So, this way, which we can go with, 
this way, which we can go with eliminating a duplicate record. So mainly when you're working with the source system and uh, updated data, like if you have a multiple records, but if you have a different date, don't use a distinct R without a column in a drop duplicates because distinct and without using column names in drop duplicates. So it will treat as all columns. So all columns, it will treat as unique only. So it won't eliminate any duplicates. So this is another way which you can pass the column name, but when you are giving a column name, better to sort the data in proper order, ordered by, or you can use a window function. You can use a window function. So this is a window function and generating one sequence ID using a row number, then we can identify based on filter condition. Based on filter condition. So where row ID equal one, that will be unique, where greater than one, that will be duplicate data. So this is the bad data, which is a unique is a good data, bad data, another data frame. So this way, which we can work on any data migration projects. So how to handle duplicate records or remove duplicate records based on updated date. Any any timestamp column, just I mentioned a column name as updated date, but always look at this. Okay, but three columns if you look at or four columns, you cannot find a duplicate, obviously, because it will be unique always when you look at the total columns. And the same notebook will be available in my GitHub. You can go through my GitHub account. And uh, here is my GitHub repository, which you can find the real time uh, scenarios. So here I will upload this notebook. Thank you for watching my videos. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe my channel. And all the best. See you in another video. Thank you.